Today we're going to talk about how to play against penhold players. The first thing you need to do is just examine the player like you would any other player. What strengths and weaknesses do they have? Are they strong with the forehand or the backhand, with their pushing, with their attacking? What type of serves do they have and what type of serves do they like returning and which serves do they struggle with? If they are a traditional penhold backhand player, so they're only using the one side of the racket all the time, then it's going to be difficult for them to attack strongly with their backhand side. So that's an area that you can examine. If, however, they use the reverse penhold backhand, then you need to still examine how good they are with that reverse penhold backhand, the same way as you would with any other player. One big area to explore against a penhold player is their forehand block. Often it's quite difficult for them to block over the ball with that penhold grip. So especially if you're playing a slower, spinny topspin to their forehand, it can cause them problems. If they're using the traditional backhand, then they don't have a crossover point because they're utilising the same side of their racket for both the forehand and the backhand. If they are using the reverse penhole backhand, it does mean that now their backhand attack can be stronger, but it now introduces the problem for them that they're now changing the side of their racket they're using between the forehand and the backhand. So it now introduces that crossover point for the penhole player. So you can start to explore that middle area against a player using the reverse penhole backhand. So let's now look at the placement on the table. If they are using the traditional penhole backhand, their backhand is going to be limited. So in general, you're going to play a lot of balls into their backhand side because it's hard for them to attack. That will force them to pivot and play their forehand from here. Now you're starting to open up the court for yourself as a tactical strategy. However, if they're using that reverse penhole backhand, then we've got this middle area to explore where they are going to change between the backhand and the forehand area. So you can place more balls into their middle area. The strengths of the penhole player tend to be that they utilise their wrist more. So for their serves, they tend to be able to generate some more spin. And also, they can utilise their wrist better for the forehand attack. Again, making that a stronger shot. So when they're serving, just watch for that extra amount of spin that they are able to generate. With their forehand, you need to work out a strategy of how you're going to limit their use of their forehand. It can be by playing more balls into the backhand, or it can be by playing out wide to their forehand first and then exposing their backhand side. So always look at the player that you're playing, not only the grip. Think about their strengths and weaknesses first. Then explore some general ideas like exploring their forehand block. If they're using the traditional backhand, then exploiting their backhand side a lot.